Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to one of my mini summer episodes. In these quick summer episodes, I am just randomly talking about whatever happens to be on my mind today. When I do my normal episodes, I try to put some more thought into them and pre-plan and make sure I'm sharing a decent amount of information, hopefully. But in these ones, it's just quick and whatever I happen to be thinking about at this point in time. So what I've been thinking about today is how important it is to try to do the most important things first when we have a bunch of stuff to do. So as I mentioned, I'm, I think I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I'm in a really busy time right now. Um, in my job, it's just one of our busy seasons. I know it was coming. Unfortunately, it co- one of our busy seasons comes in the summer, which really stinks because I love the summer and I'm always torn between wanting to do fun stuff and having to get some extra work done and things like that. So yesterday, I really knew I needed to get a little bit of work done. And um, I it's the weekend when I'm recording this. So yesterday was Saturday. And I I knew that I really needed to get some extra work done, but I had a bunch of other things that I wanted to do yesterday as well. So I, what I wound up doing is getting up early and sitting down at my computer and I worked for like five hours and I really got a good amount of stuff done. And because I got up really early, once I was done with that, I still had the whole rest of the day and I was pretty much able to do everything else that I wanted to do. But had I done it in reverse and done the stuff that I wanted to do earlier and then gotten to my work later, because the work was so important and I knew it really needed to get done, I would have constantly had it nagging in the back of my mind while I did everything else. And it would have caused me not to enjoy the other things that I wanted to get done because I would have been stressing out about the fact that I still needed to get this work done. So it just made me think about how important it is to really just kind of try to get yourself to do those important things first, because they're not going to get out of your mind when you're trying to do other things. So as much as sometimes we want to put them off or do them later or do them tomorrow, if we just get it done first, you start off with a feeling of accomplishment, first of all, which feels really good knowing that you got something that was really important taken care of, but then it also allows you to enjoy the rest of your day and everything else that you have to do a little bit more because you're not constantly knowing in the back of your mind that you have this really important task that you have yet to complete. So that's kind of all I wanted to talk about today. Um, Even like with this episode, honestly, um, I'm recording this early in the morning because It's something that I need to get done today and I want to get done today. And I know that if I don't do it now, like I'm doing it, I will be thinking about it while I'm doing everything else that I have to get done today. And it's going to bother me that I haven't done it yet. So when you're planning out your day, just try to think what is going to really be in the back of your mind until you get it done and see if you can possibly just try to get that thing done first. A lot of times we put those things off because maybe we might think they're going to be more difficult or take up too much time, but putting them aside doesn't really usually help anything. And like I said, it makes it where it's constantly nagging you. So try to think about what is that most important thing you have to do and try to just do it first that way, the rest of your day, you can just get whatever else you want to get done and you'll and you'll let that um, feeling of accomplishment carry with you throughout the rest of the day so that you, you can enjoy everything else that you have to do. And even if those are other tasks, each task that you're, that you're doing, you're not constantly thinking about this nagging feeling that you have something else that really needs to get done. And while you're watching the time tick away, you know, maybe you start worrying that you're going to wind up running out of time to get that thing done. 
So that's what I've been thinking about today because it's just been a lot of priorities lately and I'm really trying to um, really be kind of, um, not strict, but I don't know the word for it, but I'm really trying to kind of make myself get those important things done as early as possible in the day. That way, whatever else happens, happens, and I don't have to worry about the fact that I haven't gotten something that really needed to get done completed. So that's it for today. Thank you for checking in for one of my quick summer episodes. I have a few more of these left, and then I will be back to my normal length topic episodes each Monday. I thank you so much for listening, and if you do have an opportunity to leave me a rating and review on whatever app you listen to, I would really, really appreciate it. It's um, it's really hard to get ratings and reviews, but that is really what helps the podcast grow. And I would really need, um, I really need some help with growing because it's very difficult to grow a podcast um, just on your own, just based on, um, you know, what, what's the word? Um, organically. (laughs) I'm not advertising or anything like that. I don't have the funds to do that. So this podcast is growing completely organically. So anything you could do to leave me a rating or review would be super helpful to get the word out there to more people. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have an awesome day.